Hi, I'm Taya Gurken, Senior Editor here at Acoustic Guitar, and today I'm here with this Gibson Jackson Brown Signature Model Guitar. Jackson Brown has been known for playing vintage Gibson Roy Smack guitars for decades, and it makes sense that he wanted his signature model to be based on those guitars. Original Roy Smack models were introduced in 1934, and they were initially designed for lap style playing. But the combination of Gibson's slope-shouldered body and a 12-fret neck resulted in such a great sound that many players had vintage Roy Smacks converted for standard playing techniques. In addition, several companies, including Gibson, have offered guitars inspired by the Roy Smack design over the years. Gibson and Jackson Brown collaborated on prototypes for the signature model for several years, and the guitar they ultimately came up with is very cool. Brown is known for being vocal about environmental issues, so it makes sense that he chose sustainably harvested English walnut for the instrument's back and sides over the Brazilian rosewood that most vintage Roy Smacks used. The guitar also has an Adirondack spruce top and a one-piece mahogany neck. East Indian rosewood is used for the fingerboard and bridge. The guitar has a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale, a wide 1.8 inch nut, and fingerstyle friendly 2 and 3 16 inch string spacing at the saddle. The headstock is home to a set of golden Waverly tuners. One cool option for the Jackson Brown signature model is that it can be ordered with a custom installed trans audio pickup system, which is the same setup used by Brown. This is a high-end system that's not usually found as stock equipment and it was included in our review guitar. The trans audio system consists of two soundboard transducer pickups that are mounted to the bridge plate inside the body, right under here. Called the acoustic lens, these pickups are unusual in that they pick up vibrations on all three axes, with the idea being an ultra-accurate reproduction of the guitar's tone. The system also includes an internal preamp in the guitar and an external breakout box. A special cable with a 5-pin connector is needed to hook the guitar up to the box, at which point the user has a choice of using a stereo or mono signal by way of two quarter-inch output jacks. As reviewed, with the Trends Audio System installed, the guitar has a list price of $7,738 and it sells for about $6,000. Without the Trends Audio System, the guitar has a street price of about $4,500. Okay, let's have a listen to the Gibson Jackson Brown Signature model. Our review guitar came set up with incredibly low action and light gauge strings, which when combined with a short scale, resulted in very easy playability. Gibson clearly knows how to voice a guitar to be responsive, because the Jackson Brown model is able to develop its tone without much effort, even when I play very soft finger style. But the guitar is also capable of working up some volume when strumming. And given how Brown does a fair amount of both, it makes sense that he'd want the instrument to be versatile in that way. Here it is strummed. You can probably hear a few buzzes as I'm digging in, which is the price we pay for the guitar's super low action. I'm certain that raising the strings just a little would yield not only a cleaner sound, but even more volume as well. Okay, let's check out the built-in trans audio electronics. I'm going to run the guitar into this Fishman Loudbox 100 amp using the mono output on the breakout box, which results in a simple setup. So here we go. As you can hear, the pickups do a remarkable job at reproducing the guitar's tone, and without a doubt, they would sound even more accurate plugged into a larger, full-range PA. So that's the Gibson Jackson Brown Signature Model Guitar. Regardless of whether you're a Jackson Brown fan or not, it's a very cool instrument that combines a classic vintage design with a few new ideas, and it sounds great. You can read my full review in the August 2011 issue of Acoustic Guitar or at AcousticGuitar.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Taya Gurkin.